Shalom, Shalom, Ya Sha'Allah, first and foremost. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kaifadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation, let's get it abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Right? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kaifadash, Barakatum. Peace and quanium. You know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole full elect. Out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and your election sure. Keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Shai, Bon Yashallah. Let's be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Havi HaBashim Now Shai. The Lord, Yahweh Now Shai, will be with us in trouble sometimes. I'm going to jump straight into it because um, a lot of prophecy been popping off left and right. We're getting, we're getting closer and closer to the um, mandatory implementation of the Kragm of the Beast. You know, which is the fulfillment of the 13 verse 16, which is the RPD micro HIP. Right, we can close and close to that time, the hour temptation. Right, we we all seen what happened 2020, 2021. You know, um, the the pen, you know, the scandemic, you know, leading to the um, mandatory cracks in nations, so on and so forth. Right, so we know what, that was what a prelude. Right, causeth in Revelation 13 verse 16, he causeth all. Causeth, causeth uh, in the Greek is poeo, which means to make ready, to fashion, to prepare. So those, those, you know, preparing with that prelude, it was a little, a little, a little test, and they got they, they hit their numbers of um, how many people they wanted to get juiced up. They went around like what, 66, uh, 66 percent. They, they they passed that mark. It's like I believe it's like what, 68, 69 point something now. Right, people juiced up. So those that got the juice, they already got the the G towers up. You see, and they getting ready to release another you know virus out here. We got the monkey pox. You know, oh, the brothers at the article the other day, me and brother lesson on it um, a couple of days back. You know, going to what? 144,000 monkey peel wax cracks and nations that they wanted to make. So we know that number is be getting sealed as we speak, man. A little willing, us brothers are part of that number. We got to continue um, enduring and being diligent in his truth. Whatever our lot is, fulfilling that lot to the best of our ability, man. You must be a to all, go out there and prophesy. Whether it be a help. You know, whether you're good in lingu uh, linguistics, the languages. You see that um, charity, you know, which is brotherly love. Yeah, giving arms, so on and so forth. Whatever your lot is, it's all um, needed for the ministry. You see, and we all got to perfect our lots. Right? So that number getting sealed, man. And we know destruction is coming after that number is sealed. You know, pursuant to Re on Revelation 7 chapter. Right? But scripture I'm going to start off with because I got my tablet right here. But you about to die, so I got to charge it. That's what's kind of far away. But let me see if I can put it on the table. Let me see if I can fit. All right. Yep, it can fit a little bit. That's a lot. You have to pull the cord. And I'm just going to roll through the spirit, man. You know, and I just pray you brothers get, you know, uplifted. Be a faith builder. Um, we, we almost we almost home, man. You know, Yahweh Shah getting ready to come back very soon. You see, and uh, I got pulled up right here, Dabu 7. He posted his son recently. Get ready for nationwide log jam. Trains could literally stop running on Monday. Another one he posted, nuclear radiation. Warning sign put up in New Jersey Mall. Just after NYC warned about getting nuked, you see. Also, Georgia Guidestones Time Castle was gone. Right, it says um, County Road Department dug up the site. You know, so it's a lot of things going on. Stern hints at extra dimensions, just so on and so forth. Right. So, a lot of prophecy been popping off, man. Oh, you also posted something about the chariot ten years ago. You know, next to the sun. Right. Ready for rolling blackouts. Power grid faces transformer shortages ahead of hurricanes, wildfires. And all of this in the span of from 10 days ago and we're down to today, you know? So I'm reading on this precept that we wrote through the Spirit. And it's pretty good comforted, brothers, because we we approaching that time. So this is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. And who's Michael? Michael the archangel, one of the seven holy angels. You see? Which the scripture mentions four, four archangels, but you go into the pocket for uh, the book of Tobit. Raphael said he wanted the seven holy ones. See that? And Raphael is another archangel. Right? It says, And at that time shall Michael, my Allah, he's like the Mosai, stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. Right? Who's the children of Mosai's people? The Israelites. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But we know Yahweh Bashim al Shah is only dealing with a remnant of his nation. Right? He's only dealing with a, a small select few. So it says, And there shall be a time of trouble such as never. But since there was a nation even to that same time, so we're approaching that time of trouble. We're actually going to begin the stages of it right now, right? 
We're in the beginning stage of it right now, the time of great tribulation and tribulation. Like I was mentioning with the whole cracks and nations, the G Towers, so on and so forth. Um, the Elder Malcolm did a beautiful lesson, a, a, a dream he had. You know, it, going to the dream, I, I don't remember everything fully, but just know people out here was like kind of like zombified. See that? And it had something to do with the juices, so on and so forth. The, uh, you know what I mean by juice, you know, the, the cracks, right? Cracks nation, the crack scene. Uh, Mixed with the tower, so on and so forth. And um, he played a video from TikTok of Jake basically breaking it down, saying, you know, this, I forgot the name he gave for the virus. He said, this virus right here, they start with an M, the M something, the M virus, something like that. I would say that the M virus. Right. Um, that's gonna get, that's gonna get released is the same virus that Bill Gates and Fauci was talking about when he mentioned um this one gonna you know um catch people's attention so on and so forth right it's gonna catch people's attention and that's why they got the FEMA camp set up you know for this specific one right here you know it's gonna be deadly man see? you're gonna see it on people's faces right it's gonna be known who has it like, this whole seat on the web you gotta get tested to know if you got it or not if you may have you may not no the next one is coming you're gonna look this person is sick man you see that again to that point there's no coincidence they came with all these different you know black summer uh the walking deads you see what else they came out with uh all of us are dead a uh, hashtag alive all these different um, um shows and movies they're coming out with um army of the dead you see on netflix and hulu and prime amazon prime video all these different things right Going into zombified people, man. Nightcrawlers, so to, so to speak. And that's not far fetched. People think that's far fetched. It's just a disease. See that? That will mute it. And right now, people's bodies are slowly mutating. We went into the thing that's inside of the sea on the web. It cracks the nation. We, we already broke it down. What's inside of it? The hydro vulgaris, the, uh, all type of stuff, man. A, a, lot, a lot of things. You know, it's the, the doctor been warning people listen, you take that in three to five years, you're dead. You know, so those that didn't die automatically, your body is slowly um, changing. Also, it, it severed your pineal gland, the gland, uh, they call it the God gene, the female 2 gene, the gene that makes you believe in a higher power. So a lot of people, they're going to be bugged out here very soon. So we, we're approaching these times, man. You see? We're, we're in them. We're, this is the beginning of sorrows. Beginning of famine and great death. That's another thing, too. Famine is coming. See, extreme scarcity of food and water. Me and the brothers, you know, um, before camp, go to Starbucks, you know, get a refresher, so on and so forth. You know, probably a little, you know, breakfast sandwich. You know, make sure it's turkey bacon. You know, or um, something along those lines. They said it's a shortage. <laughs> you know, they, they they had no certain sandwiches, only had like a few left. You know, so we're in that time now, man. Right? So, uh, you know, matter of fact, no, I'm just keep on reading. It says Daniel 12 and 1. Uh, I'll read on down. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone shall be found written in the book you know so we're approaching a time of great death calamities tribulations and trials and sorrows lamentations mourners and woes but deliverance and salvation is coming for the elect of the nation of israel man and lord willing we're part of that number we got to do what endure and give diligence to make a call in election sure that's all we got to do brothers the lord be with us in these times i read it we're gonna send michael the archangel man and other angels as well that's you know precept Psalms 34. Psalms 34 and verse 7, it says, The angel of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You see? So the angels are encamped round about us, brothers, man. Those are ministering spirits. You see? And they're with us everywhere we go. You know, you got to believe us and have faith in that, man. See the um the older bro out there in um Dallas, GMS in Rome, lions on fire, you know, gave a beautiful testimony, man. You know, his dog getting shot with a nine millimeter gun. Point blank range, man. And his dog is perfectly fine. You see? And the brother the, 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 he mentioned the angel had to step in. You know, the angel had to step in for that, man. You see? So in these last days, the angels are gonna be, you know, divine intervention, you know, intervening, you know, helping us out, man. And they may come in the form of a man, you see, or they may come in an angelic form, you see. If you go into the book of Tobit, they thought Raphael, they didn't know that was Raphael the Archangel, man. When they found out, they were scared, they were scared. But he was sent to, to, you know, to guide Tobias on his journey, you know, among other things as well. Hill Tobit, you see, so on and so forth, you know. Oh, we get the the, the book of Acts 12 chapter, the Lord sent the angel to repeat out of jail, out of prison, 
See, oh, Daniel, the, um, what's that, the third chapter? No, oh, yeah, it's the third chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Or oh, the sixth chapter, I think it's the sixth. When it goes to what? Daniel and the lions then? See, and uh, how the Heavenly Father sent the angels shut the mouth for the lions. Right? So angels are going to be with us, man, in these days. See that? We have nothing to worry about, man. Don't be afraid of the times that's coming. You know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah will be with us. He's for us. He's, he's here. You know, this is this is it, brothers. This is this is what we've been waiting for through the spirit. You know, and that time to get all shaken up, afraid. It's time to keep moving forward, man. Don't look back. And it, like like this um thing right here. Um, this is what my mom bought. You know, it says um when you get to the end of let me see when you get to the end of your rope. Yeah. When you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on. You see that? Hold on, man. Just hold on, man. Keep faith. Look at another preset. I found that very spiritual, you know. That's why I got it right there, you know. Um, that's why I want to do the lesson out here as well. We both see that as well through spirit. All right, Salakia, so let's let's, let's get straight um, back to the precepts. Second Edges chapter two, and I'm gonna start at verse uh, twenty-six. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. Are we not servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai? Serving him in truth and sincerity to the, to the best of our ability, man. Starting with the elders and apostles on down. You know, we're serving Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. So he said, none of y'all gonna perish. And even the brothers, has, you know, if, it, if it's your lot to be a martyr, you're truly not perishing. You see that? Why? Because you're getting raised right back up to glory, man, and honor, and praise, and fame, and everlasting name. You see? So it says, uh, for I will require, require them from among thy number. Be not weary, right? Mean what? Don't be affrighted or, or worried or afraid, man. For when the day of trouble and, and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. What does it mean to be merry? Happy. You're going to be rejoicing, man. You know, during them times. It's going to get bad. Yes, it's going to get bad. We're going to witness a lot of death. We're going to see a lot of people get put to death. People dying of famine, children getting dashed, pieces of women getting raped, ravaged, men crying like women in travail. Right? We're going to see all this stuff happening, man. See, people close to us dying, you know, we may have loved ones that just not going to make it, you know, family, friends, cousins, uncles, aunts, nieces, nephews, who, I mean, listen, who knows? You see that? But the Lord is with you, man. You see that? Have faith in that. He's not going to let you perish, man. See, he won't give you food in the famine, water in the famine. You see? Some brothers with the spiritual powers, that's written in the scripts, man. Divine invention is coming very soon, man, you know? Even, and even during the midst of um, the persecution when they come down great wrath because they got us on a southern southern poverty law center you know, they got all the different groups the top major groups you know lined up i was reading earlier today i heard the apostles mention it you know they got um iuic icpk cms uh sakari they should have hoa up there you know they should have other camps as well there's a lot of camps you see that but they're watching everyone because they, they knew the leaders they said the leader of iuic bishop nathaniel ben israel leader of um, icpk general yohana leader of the great millstone elder tahar you see leader of uh sakari was really hebrew so they they they, they, they watching the videos man you know, they, they know the, the the order the rank they know what's going on see so they can when they come down with great wrath they have all our names man see because they watch all the videos so you got to prepare your mind for that as well, being betrayed by people close to you. That's another thing too the elder was going into in his testimony when his dog got shot point blank range, but his dog is perfectly fine through the spirit. And Paul be all about Um shy. But he mentioned that, you know, because he said usually that 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 um that man that would come over, which uh, was his um his wife's brother, right, would come over. He was always you know cordial, cool, this and third, but the demon hopped on him. You see, and he's he mentioned that man. People close to you, they may seem cool. No problems with you, you know, you in the faith, they not, but you know, you still, you know, yeah, yeah still, you know, court you. They don't say nothing disrespectful, nothing like that. Demon is gonna start happening to people, man. The love of many gonna wax cold. See? That love, they they gonna they're gonna toss out the window, man. Cause we're holy. The word of holy means set apart, separate. You see? We're not like these people, man. You see? And then and, and then um they they're not in the faith. They don't got the Vakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. They don't got wisdom, knowledge, understanding that y'all bless bless blessed bestowed upon us. So when that time comes, they're gonna give us up. You see? But we have nothing to worry about. That's what, that's what I'm reading these precepts, man. The scripture saying in Romans 15 and verse 4, the things that are in the fourth time we're wearing for what? Our learning. That we do patience and comfort the scriptures might have hope. This gives us hope. The 
scriptures, the different accounts. I just I listed a few accounts. Daniel Lyons then also Meshach Shrek Abednego. You see that? Um, Peter in prison. You know, we go we go on and on, man. The Lord is always with his men. King David during the different things he was going through, battling King Saul, all type of stuff, man. You see? I was going down, it says uh verse 28 the heathen shall envy thee but they shall be able to do nothing against thee save the lord my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell so even brothers with children see that even though right now is really not the wisest time to have children but hey the lord ordains everything you know so if you have a newborn son newborn daughter a child three four five years old whatever the case may be i just read this precept your heavenly father gonna cover you so that your children do not see hell which is death the grave that's what hell going into we're not talking about a place underground we burn it forever right hell is the grave see that it says uh be joyful oh thou mother even you sister out there as well right they got children with thy children for i will deliver thee save the lord he said i'm gonna deliver you no you, you believe in him and through his son remember thy children that sleep for i shall bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them for i am merciful saith the lord almighty you see so the lord the scripture is going to what mercy and wrath come from yahweh by shimel shai i believe with the prophet habakkuk that said and and um let me read right quick so don't be afraid brothers that's the point i'm trying to bring up habakkuk chapter yeah three and verse also, there is one, a prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shai Gionoth. O Yahweh, or Hashem Yahweh Shai, I've heard thy speech and was afraid. And we heard the speech of the Most High. Through his men, through the prophets, through the elders, the apostles, the great millstone on down to all the different brothers. And pushing his word out in truth and sincerity. See that we heard the speech of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we was what, afraid, man. See, I know I was when I heard this word. You know, listen, repent, you're going to perish in that fight. Nuclear missiles, just in World War Three. Market of you know the market of the crying with the beast, all of this stuff. I'm like, oh shit. FEMA camps, torture tactics. I'm like, oh, god damn, famine. When people really think about a famine, that's a hard way to go out, man. Think about it, like you cannot eat or drink. There's nothing. Like you you looking around, there's no water. And imagine you find a little bit of water, you drink it, you're not satisfied, man. If the Lord ain't with you in that time, you're finished, man. You're done. You see that? So we heard the speech of the Mosai Yahweh by Shem Yashai, and we was afraid. The Apostle Paul, or was the Apostle Peter? Let me move this up right quick. Uh, I'm going to read this right quick. Yeah, the Apostle Paul, Salaki, in 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Right? So knowing the terror of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, we persuade you, man. We tell you straight up, this is the terror, this is the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And we through the spirit we try to persuade you to get right, man. Repent. Luke, uh, Luke 13 and 3. Right, right quick. Luke 13 and 3. It says, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. If you don't get right, you're going to die, man. It's that simple. If you don't get right, you're going to get left. You see? But back to this precept, Habakkuk 3 and 1. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shai Gionoth. O Yahweh Ba, Shem Yahweh Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath remember mercy right which he will he will remember mercy for as you like that's what i'm going into man the lord be with us in the troublesome times you see that in the midst of his wrath because he's bringing the wrath he's bringing the hell man the proof on that is um second urge of 15 chapter all right we're gonna read right quick second urge is 15 and verse uh five it says Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. See, behold, saith the Lord. This is saith Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. Who the world eagerly calls God. His name is Yahweh, which means he exists. Right? Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. See, 
That's what people don't know the most side, man. You Christians, y'all don't know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Y'all don't know the Heavenly Father. Y'all don't know his son. See? He's a man of war. He's a, he's a, uh, a power of balance. See that? He said, I'm bringing this, man. So think about it. If he's bringing this, that's his wrath. Why? Because wickedness has, have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So now he's not holding his tongue no more, man. He about to destroy this place for his wickedness, man. See? And, but in the midst of that wrath, he's going to show mercy upon his elect, the remnant. I'm going to get that next. It says, uh, that was the point. Uh, that was pointing out too. So let's get this right quick. Amos. Like nine and verse eight. Let's see. Amos nine and verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power Yahweh Bashmal Shai are upon the sinful kingdom, going to our kingdom, you know, back then during that time, but also until today, you know, um going to this sinful demonic kingdom. It says, I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Who's the house of Jacob? The children of Israel. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans. Why? Because you got mercy on the elect. Let's read it. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Because the Israelites are scattered amongst every single nation, man. You have Israelites everywhere, looking like other nations as well. Not every Israelite look like, look like Wesley Snipes. You see that? Not every Israelite is black as hell, man. You see? We're different shades of brown. Some of us may look like Edomites. Some of us look like Ammonites. You know? Some of us look like from Vietnam. It was Jake's over there too, popping the Vietnamese woman and leaving their seed behind. <laughs> you see that? We, we know. You know? So, not every Israelite is going to look like, you know, Terry Crews, man. Right? So, you're going to have Israelites looking like other nations. They're going to come from other nations speaking those languages too. And they're going to hate us, wouldn't believe. You got Israelites in, in the Philippines, man. You got brothers pushing his word out in every single country you could probably think of. You may not see him, but the Lord is raising the prophets all over, man. It says, uh, where am I? Verse 9, Amos um, 9 and 9. For lo, I will command and, will, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right? So the, the Lord is sifting his people see that meaning he, he's got basically gathering his elect you know it's a parable and um we read it at camp the other day i think it was matthew 10. nope i'm gonna look it up i know it's in i think one of john to uh net and Jesus. matthew 13 and 47 that's where it's at read that real quick Matthew 13 and 47, it says, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathereth of every kind, which when it was full, they drew the shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, the elect, and cast the bad away, the non-elect. So, so shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire, the second death, right? And there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. See, so the Lord is gathering his elect and the, and the wicked, and he's going to cast away into that fire. Back to Amos 9, I'm about to read it right here too. Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. See, so all the sinners of, of the, um, the Heavenly Father's people which is the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? All you sinners, those that's willfully going off, being demons, demonic, you know, worshiping other idols, worshiping idols in general, you see that? Committing all type of abominations and wickedness, doing whatever you want to do, having that satanic do as that whole spirit, the Lord say, I'm going to put you to death. That's simple, man. Right? But in these troublesome times, he's going to be with his elect. I'm going to get, uh, it's about to get bad, man. Second address, the 16th chapter. And verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, 
tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Of all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. They will be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils go upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth, upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So approach, this is the time we approach it, man. And it, right now, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. So it's going to get worse, worse, and worse. It's going to get worse before it gets worse. And the dead should be cast out as dung. Dung is doodle. -doo, right? So be dead bodies everywhere. And there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and, and the city shall be cast down. Let's jump down to a point I want to get. Hmm. I'm going to jump down to verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Right? As when a woman with child in the ninth month bring forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall, shall come upon it on every side. You see, sorrow is going to come upon this world on every side, man. Every angle. That you can think of any positive, it'll be all hell breaking loose, man. You see, let's jump down. Back at verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So, we'd rather be on pilgrims, man, on a journey. You see, seeking miracles. That's what we're going to where pilgrims go to that, man. You know, seeking miracles, man, on that journey. We're not gonna be staying in one spot for too long. We be brothers, be brothers gonna be on the move, man. Be brothers with their family and their children, and so on and so forth. It's gonna get, it's getting to that point. Right? Let's jump down to uh, this point right here. Verse seventy-three. Then shall they. This is second chapter sixteen seventy-three. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. So in the midst of that time, it's gonna be known who Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is with. He's dealing with who he's um who he's talking, who he's um who's who he's protecting, who's serving him. Right? So for the tongue slot here. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. The scriptures say what? Acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we gotta catch these, we gotta go through hell, we gotta catch hell. You know, but the Lord be with us. Verse 74. Here, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold. The days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt. Do not doubt the Most High. Man. For Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Say the Lord, those that serve him to the best of their ability. Let not your sins weigh you down, because he know you're not perfect, but don't let that weigh you down. And let not your iniquity lift up themselves. You see? So, don't let your iniquities... You know, lift up themselves. I mean, what? It's a balance. You fall short, get back up, and keep moving forward. And have faith that Yahweh Bashi Shai will protect you and guide you. Let's get Isaiah. Chapter 40. And we'll verse 10. Isaiah 40 and 10. Nope, Isaiah 41 and 10. And it reads. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Which is Yahweh Shai. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. And when I try to strive with us, they're going to get put to death. Thou shalt seek them, and shall not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. Watch this. For I, Yahweh, Bashan, I will shy thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So he's with us, man. He's going to help us. I can close out with that. That's it. That's all I need to read, man. Right, but I'm finna read some more. It says, Behold, I'll make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Right, which is going to spiritual powers. Right? If you have a sharp instrument and you add teeth to it, it makes it that much more deadly. See, that's what the Lord gonna raise up his men. 
And men gonna have spiritual powers in these days. The elect men, the low willing, we're part of that number. We're seeking miracles. It says, Thou shalt thresh the mountainous governments and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff. You see? Thou shalt fan them, and the winds shall carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel, man. So we're gonna glorify our power, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. So in these times, man, the Lord will be with us. He will guide us, He will protect us. So you brothers out there, keep the faith. The few sisters that believe in Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, keep the faith, faith also. See that? The Lord will protect all of us, man. We have to believe. He's with us. He, he's with us, man. Yeah, you have to believe that. So I'm in the there because all I had through the spirit, I was I was wrong through the spirit. I want to give call line la Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without a message, Shalom. And may Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akadash. Abad Babal. Shalom.